Okay, the first plugin we're going to look at is Dr. Chaos. So the user interface on, on first look, it's a little bit unintuitive, but we're gonna go into it uh, more in depth. And we're gonna start with this middle dial. Looks like uh, some, it uh, looks like a pretty flower. But what this actually represents is notes in a scale represented in order. So you've got one, two, you can actually see the numbers on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it sounds a little bit like this. So as each note plays, you can see it being graphically represented by a little white outline around the note, uh, the note itself. And your highlighted note for editing, um, you've got a little sort of blue circle around that particular note so that you can see the parameters for each note as well. So coming over onto the left here, um, we've actually got a what they call a network and this what this basically does is it gives you the note orders so you've got notes one to eight playing here and then underneath those there's little numbers in boxes and those nu numbers represent the next note played after this note so after one we're going to hear two after two we're going to hear three three we're going to hear four four we're going to hear five etc etc uh, but what you can do is you can change those and as I change them, if you look at this graphical representation in the middle, you can see the the routing or the connections being changed. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And you can do this for any number of the notes. One of the only issues with this is that you can get stuck. If you break a connection and it loops back on itself, you can get stuck. But there is a way around that. There's still a use for these alterations here. So for example, if I just change a couple of these notes fairly simply and then let it play. Because I've broken this connection here, we're just going to have a kind of feedback loop going between these two notes. But this is where the chaos slider comes in. As you use this chaos slider, these values become randomized. And again, this is the magic of these randomization sequences because you never really know what's going to happen. And what I've done, by the way, I've just set up a, a basic pluck in Anna 2 with a f fairly short um, decay time to get that plucky sound and the filter set to full velocity response, which is something we'll have a look at in a minute. I'll do that for most of these demonstration videos. And what you can do per note, if I just click on the initial root note of the scale, let's see, in fact, let me change it to, I don't like major scales, they're too happy. I like harmonic minors, that's what I learned when I was learning piano. And something else you can do is per note, you can alter the note itself, um, which we don't really want to mess around with. If you have a look in here, you can change the root note of that scale to, from a C to a D, which won't make any sense at all. You can also change the octave of individual notes in the scale. So if I wanted the second note in the scale to be an octave higher, I can do that. So every time the D um, is played in the sequence, it'll be an octave higher than it should be. You can do this with any of the notes. And you can also change the velocity of each note. So each note has its own individual velocity values. So as I change between them, they're saved and then length as well. So you can have the first two really short. Or not. But then once again, we come over to the chaos slider. Uh, and I think this is another case where the magic is in the random because as the sequence evolves over time, by the way, this plugin will activate on the playhead of Ableton Live. So as I click play up here or hit the space bar, it just starts playing. It doesn't actually need its own MIDI note, which is useful. Because we've got these chaos sliders set at about 50%, this one's slightly lower in both the note network and the uh, the kind of MIDI values, the octave, velocity, and length. Um, 
what happens is as the sequence is playing over time, you're getting something that's continually different, continually evolving and changing. And that's where I think the magic is with this plugin, especially, which is, you know, one of my favorite things to do, is when you put something like a ping pong delay on. just bring in this kick just just the kicks just there for a little bit of context you're going to get something that changes so much over time and you can uh, probably leave it running for maybe I don't know a couple of minutes and then just chop out the bits that you like one thing I will say as well let me just switch off the ping pong delay if you pull in um, because this plays with the Ableton Live sequence head um, you're not actually seeing any MIDI notes but what you can do is if I insert a MIDI track here and take my MIDI in from this Anna 2 channel which is what the plugin is on. And then I'm gonna click arm record and just cl click um, record here. So you can actually record the MIDI from this channel. So the plugin does spit MIDI out for other channels to record and listen to. And as you can see, the notes are different lengths and different velocities. So the other option is not just recording the audio. You could record a long sequence of notes. And then if you think, oh, actually, I don't want that velocity that low, you can come in and alter them after the fact. But we're not going to do it here for the purposes of this video. So yeah, that's Dr. Chaos. It is very simple. There's there's an odd couple of um, foibles to get used to with the GUI. It's a very simple plugin, but it's very effective. Um, so I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.